and welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around we're going to talk about BGP and in particular we're going to talk about iBGP or internal BGP which means BGP connections from within the same AS number as opposed to eBGP which is AS to AS. So what we're going to configure today, we have two routers. Um, there are 6610s in this case. I have router 1 and router 2. Um, so router 1 here is in AS100, as is router 2, right? They're in the same AS, so this is what makes it an IBGP connection. We have a point-to-point uh, -point connection, so 10.0.0.1 and 10.0.0.2, which connect the two together. Um, but we're, what we're actually going to do is we're going to use our loopbacks and we're going to neighbor from loopback to loopback. So the neighbor relationship will, be, will interconnect the two loopbacks, not the physical address. And the reason we do this is because there may be multiple layer 2 paths between switches for IBGP. Um, and so if you're neighboring from physical address to physical address, if this physical cable goes down, we are going to ha we're going to lose our BGP session, and or we're going to have to create multiple neighbor statements for each physical address. If we peer loopback to loopback, we only need one neighbor statement, um, and no matter what the connectivity method is, or, or regardless of what the path is between the two devices, that neighbor relationship will stay up and established, and that's the important thing. The other important thing to know about BGP or iBGP is that it is not an interior routing protocol, right? It's not supposed to be used inside your environment for routing within the environment. It is used to carry your routes from eBGP peer to eBGP peer. So if you are thinking of using BGP for your internal routing protocol, that is not the ideal situation and that's not what you wanna do. You wanna use something like OSPF or, or ISIS or maybe even RIP um, for your internal routing and use eBGP or BGP for your, um, your routing generally between two entities, between a service provider and an end user or two service providers, etc. So um, in order to configure that, we're going to turn on router BGP. We're going to assign it local AS100, which is the same on both sides. So this is iBGP. We tell it who our neighbor is, and I'm using the loopback of the remote neighbor, right? And then, and then the remote AS number is the same as ours, so that's how the router knows it's IBGP because it's the same AS as ours. And then we're using an update source loopback command. So what this does is it says when you peer to your neighbor, when you send updates to your neighbor, send them sourced from your loopback interface, not from the physical interface. Uh, we're going to give a loopback. We're going to give an IP address to the loopback. Um, and lastly, we need to put in a static route. And the reason we need to do that is because uh, BGP by itself is just a TCP um, session. It is not a routing protocol. It will not discover routes. So if I don't put in those static routes, this router will have no way to know how to get to 2.2.2.2 and vice versa. This router, router 2, will have no idea how to get to 1.1.1.1. It's not going to discover those routes on its own. It needs you to have either OSPF or some, some um, IGP running in order for it to discover those routes. Otherwise, it will just sit there and never establish a neighbor relationship uh, until you explicitly tell it how to get to that neighbor's loopback. All right, so let's have a look at the configuration. So router one here. <clears throat> well, uh, first, we're going to uh, we're going to go into config t, and we're going to go to loopback one and uh, and assign an IP address first, right? So that we know how to get to the neighbor, or at least we have a neighbor address to work from, right? So there's our address. Um, so then we're going to do a router BGP. Uh, it's going to tell us to assign our local AS, so we are local AS100. Uh, then we're going to establish our neighbor, so neighbor 2.2.2.2, uh, remote AS100. Uh, so we know it's an IBGP connection because it's the same as ours. Then we're going to do a neighbor 2.2.2.2 and uh, update dash source loopback one. So when you talk to your neighbor, 
then talk to them with the loopback. So it's going to tell me to clear the neighbor session because I've made changes, right? So I need to do a clear IPBGP neighbor. Um, and then, uh, okay, so I've got that done. And then lastly, I'm going to put in a static route to get to my neighbor's interface. Um, actually, let me configure the other side, and I'll just show you that those neighbors are not going to establish until I create that static. Uh, so on this side, config T, interface loopback1, uh, IP address 2.2.2.2 slash 32, router BGP, local... AS100, neighbor, uh, 1.1.1.1, remote, AS100, uh, neighbor, 1.1.1.1, update dash source, loopback, 1. Okay, so... Um, if I now do a clear IP BGP neighbor all show IP BGP neighbor well so we see here here's my neighbor so I have one neighbor my neighbor's address 2.2.2.2 .2 in AS100 so it's IBGP um, it doesn't know who its router ID is, and it's stuck in a connect state. So this is not good, right? Established is what you want to see here. And it's stuck in connect because I have no way to get to 2.2.2.2. So it's, it's trying to open that TCP session, but it can't do it. So in order to make that happen, right, I need to create that static route because if I look in my routing table, my router has a route to 1.1.1.1, which is directly connected, it's me. I have a 10.0.0.0, which is the connection between the two devices, but I don't have a route to 2.2.2.2, and so therefore, it's never gonna build that neighbor relationship. So, I'm gonna put in a static route here to 2.2.2.2 slash 32 via 10.0.0.2. Okay, and I need to do that on both sides. Um, so IP route 1111 slash 32 via 10.0.0.1. Okay, so show IP route shows me I now have a route to 1.1.1.1 slash 32, and that's a static route that I created, and, uh, you know, vice versa. I'm going to have a route to 2.2.2.2 via 10.0.0.2, which is a static, so I created that. It's a legitimate X hop, so it's all good. So now, show IP BGP neighbor should show me these guys in an established state, which it does. So now my my uh, neighbor relationship to 2222, or my IBGP connection is in an established state, um, and that's as good as it gets in BGP. So, um, you know, we were stuck in connect before, but now we have connectivity. It's sending the, the, that connection from loopback to loopback. It's an IBGP session and we've accomplished everything we wanted. Now, if I want to advertise routes, I need to put in a neighbor statement, but, um, but otherwise that's the very basics to get this up and running. Okay. So thanks for joining and, uh, see you again.